We are essentially logisticians, but our primary focus is on the transfer of freight from road to rail. And we utilize a combination of sustainable first and last mile transport with marginal space on passenger services to move items that basically fall into three categories, time sensitive, fragile and perishable. But, but I think the success factors can be measured by the fact that we have cracked what I consider to be two of the hardest commodities that we could carry by passenger train, which is chilled food and medical samples. The speed of the service has added so much value. And I think one of the other key markets that rail can make a serious dent in is medical. That is going to become a massive, massive industry and it is totally dependent on time. It's very, very time critical stuff. So the ability for the medical sector to say we can draw a sample in the morning, have it analysed later in the morning and have that medicine back to the patient that afternoon, you're not going to be able to do that by road very easily. So you have to ask the question, well if our towns and cities are choked with, with traffic and we've got trains coming into city centres from outer urban areas, what are we missing here? We are missing a serious trick in terms of cutting out the sheer waste that's in our supply chain. Why run trains around with fresh air when you can earn extra money from carrying freight with zero risk? Everybody wins.